Hey, it's your old pal Lucid Stew again with another episode of Dreams Asset Heroes. This time we have five heroes to talk about, so let's get started. First up is LL Captain Morgan, who has a few collections. Uh, first one I'll look at is Captain's Building and Cyber Buildings. This is a collection of futuristic cyberpunk style urban themed sculptures enabling enormous scenes. There are various low gameplay, relatively low thermo building sculptures, which allow thousands of copies to be made generating grand and expansive vistas while retaining maximum detail. There are also some items by others in this collection, which I think is a good philosophy. Why needlessly build something that someone else has already made? And also, there's nothing wrong with being a fan of a theme. This is not the only collection by LL Captain Morgan, so let's explore some more. This is Captain City and Cyber City Street Collection. This one is less about buildings and more about ground level, same general theme of future or near future urban, very thermo smart and expertly executed. And more community support in here so this gets the Lucid Stew seal of approval. There are a couple more collections, let's take a quick look at those and then we'll see these sets in action. This is Captain Sign Collection, a set of neon type signs for your cyberpunk city, and we also have Captain's Paint Furniture Collection. This is a rather ingenious collection of props made entirely from painting strokes rather than sculptures. This is Cyber City 2040, a massive exercise in scale, which is a common theme in LL Captain Morgan's work. Very effective from ground level as everything towers above us. All kinds of glow and bloom happening to impart an electric vibe and a futuristic feel to the place. Overall quite empty, but my understanding of LL Captain Morgan scenes like these is that they are works in progress. Still does not need all the extras as a showcase of a huge, looming future. The amount of stuff and detail packed into this is quite remarkable. Here's an example of the nearly unfathomable scale achieved as we glide by a seemingly unending futuristic city on an elevated train. I often aim at technical results like these, which is why I hold these efforts close to my heart, and that is why LL Captain Morgan is one of my dreams asset heroes. Up next we have Liquid Snake 14. From what I could gather looking through their stuff, it appears they are working on a very involved first-person shooter, and the result for the community is a bounty of shared first-person shooter assets. This is the LS, hey, we have the same initials, the LS Asset Collection, 1L, and it contains pretty much every prop you need to make a shooter game, although the level of detail on most of these hint that they are aimed at a first-person perspective. If we look in this abandoned hospital building set, it appears to be a cast off, but it's really well thought out and high quality. That Liquid Snake says this set didn't meet their standards makes me excited to see their standard. You have just about everything you need here to build a basic hospital structure. While researching this video, I also found some great hospital items by others, so get out there and start building hospital scenes. But the highlight of the Liquid Snake collections is the insane cache of realistic weapons. Guns, 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 as Clarence Bodiger would say. The thing I like about this collection is that its layout gives you an idea of where the creator is going and what sort of gaps they want to fill. Execution on these weapons is superb, thermo cost is low to mid and already well optimized. The detail on some of these is downright crazy, and they are on par with the output of any other gun manufacturer in Dreams. So here is a taste of a lot of that all together in one place. Great execution, great atmosphere, among the best realism seen so far, and remember this hospital set was dropped because it wasn't good enough in the eyes of the creator. And that is why Liquid Snake 14 is one of my Dreams asset heroes. Now let's do a stylistic 180 and take a look at Putty Doke, a true all-around Dreams superhero, but thanks to a couple of collections, also a Dreams asset hero. 
currently looking at animal characters, an endearing collection of expertly sculpted and animated anthropomorphic animals with a penchant for large land-dwelling mammals. One of which was nominated for a 2020 Impy Award, Roger Whitebeard, the Feline Privateer. The Bears collection reminds me a lot of Disney bears seen in movies such as The Song of the South and The Jungle Book and also the Disney theme park attraction Country Bear Jamboree. The Wild West characters go along with a collection of set pieces for a Wild West set. The culmination of those efforts was a scene which placed third in the Wild West Community Jam, which you are viewing now. A fully realized, cartoon-style western backlot set, and it is remixable, by the way. One thing I like about this scene is that it is populated by several high-quality characters, which goes to show that you can build RPG-style scenes like this and stay under your thermo limits. Also, really nice detail on the interiors, so you don't have to scrimp on detail if you plan things well. Now let's take a short look at Roger Whitebeard in action, along with several of our familiar Ursine friends. A very typically human scene populated by cats and bears, both weird and captivating at the same time, which is the Dreams community in a nutshell. Putty Doak is a great representation of the Dreams community, and that's why they are one of my Dreams asset heroes. Normally when I do these videos I search collections by amount of thumbs up, but I tried trending this time and came up with a couple of good hits, but they are smaller collections, so they will share this last segment. First up is Holt3037. You may have noticed only 12 followers. I encourage you to check this dreamer out. The collection in question is Bloodborne Collection. This is a great set of gothic-style architecture, faithfully executed and extremely thermo-friendly. Most of the sculpts herein are 1% graphics thermo. Those that are not are generally enormous pieces, purposely left tight with plenty of room for adjustment. And here is the set in action. Normally I would not consider adding something like this to one of these videos because the collection is small and the demo scene is clearly a work in progress, but I felt like the work stands out enough that it needed to have attention called to it. Holt3037 is a relatively unknown creator, but not for long because they are a Dreams asset hero. Up next we have another Dreams superstar who has just recently entered the realm of publishing asset collections, Typhus667. The collection in question is Infernal Architecture. This is a collection of architecture assets, many, if not all of which, are found in Typhus667's recent Community Jam winner, The Infernal Hunt. Thermo on these is low to mid-high, but easily reduced while retaining good detail if you need to use them in a scene with more variety. Speaking of scenes, here is the Community Jam winner, The Infernal Hunt, without further interruption because nothing I say is going to improve it. why Typhus 667 is one of my dreams asset heroes, enough said. 
plenty more videos coming up. The next one is a new creation inspection of a Dreams user that is new to me that I came across while researching this video. Very happy to be bringing that to you, and as promised, Singular Dreams Creator Spotlights will be ad-free, so keep your eye out for that. But that's all for now. Until next time, I'll see you in the Dreamiverse.